Hi and welcome to this Sport in the Box tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at how to connect Meet Manager together with Sport in the Box 2. So Splash Meet Manager in this case. Um, we're going to first have a look at our support forum. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's available on support.sportinabox.com. You need to log in to be able to access all the guides and information that you need and ask support questions. Uh, after logging in, you can have a look at knowledge databases, and guides, news, etc., and files to download latest releases. In our case, we're just going to write how to. And then we can see here how to set up Sporting Box with high tech, etc. Uh, we're going to have Splash Meet Manager here. Here we have a step to step guide that we're going to follow in this tutorial. So we first make sure that our PC is connected in the same network as the Splash PC or that it's on the same PC. Uh, the second part is you open up an Explorer window. Uh, and then you either copy the search path and paste that, or you type it in. Program data. Please note that you cannot click your way to this folder because it's a hidden folder in Windows, so you won't be able to see it. So you have to type it in like this. And then you can find Meet Manager here. And then here you have the ini file. You can right click on that and push edit. Then you get a fo file something like this. Um, here we need to add a couple of rows of code that Meet Manager reads when starting up. Um, so we're going to add these two lines. Just at the bottom of the page, you can either copy them or do something else, right? So we just copy them like this. You can see you have a star here, so we'll push save and close this. And please note, this is on the Meet Manager PC, right? Uh, and it has to be in the same network, otherwise this won't work. Uh, in my case, for this tutorial, I'm running them on the same PC. So this is not the normal scenario during your event, but it's how I'm running it here for the tutorial only. So we close this, and then uh, after this, we can try to start Meet Manager. Open up Meet Manager here. So now when opening up, it will read this file. And it will open my latest database, of course. So now we're all set on the Meet Manager computer. Perhaps you will get a pop-up question from Windows asking it to get access through the firewall, if this is the first time. Um, so, and also note, you only do this part of the setup once. Uh, once you have done it on this computer for Meet Manager, you don't need to do it again, right? And now we can move back to Sport in the Box. So this is our Sport in the Box demo database, as you might recognize. Last time we had it with Wingrudan 2, Meet Management and Timekeeping. So now we're going to push Swimming Settings here. Uh, under timekeeping control, that's not important now, but we'll just change it to quantum sport in a box protocol and the data handling will move to splash. Um, here, of course, you have to change the quantum parts, but we're interested in the splash part. Since I'm running it on the same computer now, I'm just having local host here as an address. And then here you have the port that you added into the ini file. Um, that's splash red when starting up. Uh, in case you're running it on separate computers, you would type something like 192 point, etc. The, the uh, IP address of your splash computer. Uh, after checking everything here, we just push OK. And then we can push get events here to open and read in the last events of last session here. So we get all events from our database. Everything fine. So let's have a look, maybe do a name presentation for a start. Everything seems to work fine. Super. Thank you for watching and uh, take care.